What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. Today I want to talk about something that's been bugging me throughout the global situation going on right now. Um, it has to do with grocery stores and public places and how they are monitoring uh, the way you walk around the store. So there's, uh, there's usually stickers on the floor that tell you uh, step here or uh, the wrong way or go this way that's inaccessible so to those of us who are uh, blind or visually impaired that's inaccessible for the blind they have to ask for help which means being more in contact with other people and for the visually impaired we have to stop look through a magnifier on our phone and see where we're going it's inaccessible and this is not appropriate we need to find another solution and I'm here to provide these grocery stores some solutions that could be feasible and um, can definitely solve that issue because the world the, the general people uh, in the general population are not accessible forward they don't think about accessibility a lot of people and that's a problem right like why a grocery store that I'm sure that people with different disabilities go in there daily, right? To go, you know, to go there, especially, you know, those of us who are blind, vision impaired, we're going there, man. We're going there to, to get our groceries. We're going there to do what we got to do. And then what? They expect us to go with a sighted person to get our groceries? Come on. That's, that's not cool, right? So, like, how do they expect us to do this? Do they just let us walk around willy-nilly without following the rules on the floor? Are we exempt? You know, it, if, even if we are, you know, we still should be able to follow these rules the right way by putting things that help us. For example, okay, I'm going to start off with a couple of my solutions. So, my first solution. So, those, uh, those poles with the wire running through it that people use in lines and like theme parks and stuff um that they usually tell you where the line starts and ends that's what they should use they should make it so that the flow of the traffic goes one way to go through the whole grocery store you have to start in one place and you end in the other place so it's basically um a one-way pathway where you have to go if you want to go to the next lane uh you can but you, everybody has to go be going the same direction and you keep them in that direction by using these poles with the line in the middle basically so that we can feel that it's there with our cane we can feel that it's there you don't have to touch anything you can feel that there's poles on the ground and these poles help us go through where we need to go because they are uh, they are physical they're not just a sticker on the floor and with the cane we can say okay you know this is a pole in the corner you know if you but if you bump into the line between the poles you can see okay this is a corner so clearly I have to turn or okay there's uh, two poles one on my left one on my right and you know you can follow it and it's a lot easier to navigate right um, that's one solution and it's very feasible I'm fairly certain they have those in grocery stores I've seen them you know they're very affordable I doubt that one of these poles go for a, two poles and a line in the middle go, go for less than 20 bucks and if they have to put 50 of them they're a big company you know these grocery stores are huge spending a grand on on these things are definitely feasible for them but stickers are way cheaper and they get to spend less than 500 bucks per store just on these stickers but these stickers aren't accessible so idea number two so the second idea I have is essentially speakers um, around the store uh, this is uh, this one I, I doubt people would do in these in these uh, I doubt uh, companies would do this because it would get annoying for for those who aren't using the the speakers to guide themselves but there should be speakers uh, where the stickers are so that way you know they say wrong way and you can hear it you can hear wrong way R wrong way and then you can be like okay not this way and then you can hear the other speaker that says this this is a uh, uh, walk this way or something like you can guide yourself through speakers 
I mean, yeah, there would be a lot of speakers laying around in different locations, but you know what? It's a solution. Um, it's it, it, it may be an annoying solution for those who don't use the speaker system, but you know what? For those of us who are blind visually impaired, it would be so much easier. You know who does this? Disney. When you go to Disney, uh, at least the parks in Florida, the, ele the escalators are like, escalators this way, and then uh, the speakers, when you go down, It'll say escalate and escalators end or something. It'll, it'll say like when the escalators end. It'll say watch out for the step. Watch out for the step. And you can hear it. And that way you know when the escalator's ending. Some system like that is what uh, grocery stores should use. Uh, so that way we can navigate their stores uh, in an accessible way. You know, without us walking around not following the rules on the floor because we can't see them. And... There's other solutions um, that I I'm a developer, so I'd be willing to work with people to do to implement these solutions. For example, um, we could you could have an app, you know, we could have a, a they're called beacons, and these beacons can help us stay in the right track, right? We download the app on our phone, you know, when we go to grocery stores, this app basically guides us. You know, there's a lot of solutions out there that we can do. The sticker solution, the reason why they did it, I'm fairly certain is because it's cheap, but it's not accessible. If you're watching this video and you are somebody from Publix, Walmart, or any other stores that use the sticker system, please, I beg you, share this video with your bosses, share this video, and make it known that this sticker solution is not accessible and it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable that through this global situation, the way of making people, keeping people in order is through stickers. They didn't think about those who can't see the stickers. They didn't think about people who, who may not be able to see the stickers because uh, they, they have low vision or totally blind. Or there's many cases where uh, somebody may not be able to read these stickers and what are they gonna do? Like it's not this sticker solution is not it's it's not acceptable. It's not accessible. You know, there has to be a way. There has to be many other ways. I gave you three solutions in this video, and there's many many more solutions that we can do. So I hope you guys um, learned something in this video. If you're going out and about, you know, uh, be safe. It, you know. It, and it's very, uh, it's very, it, the world right now is in a very weird situation. That's why I'm making this video because I want to make, I want to make the best out of the worst situation. Like, yeah, there's this going on, but I want to make sure that we can go to a store and follow the same rules as everybody else by making these stickers go away and having an accessible way so that we can also follow these rules. That way we can keep, you know, distance from everyone else simply by using the rules because the sticker system keeps people away from each other and we may not be able to see this so we just walk around like okay whatever like we can't see it so we don't know it's there and then we may be able to bump into somebody if if they keep this if they take the sticker system and implement it in uh, in, in, in in accessible manner we won't bump into people either because we are using the system that works the system that makes it so that we are six feet away from others all right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. See you in the next video. And please, please share this video. Let it be known that the sticker system is not accessible. Make it so that somebody does something. At least, hey, even if one company does something, guess what? That's going to create a chain and other companies are going to follow suit. All right. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.